what's up guys uh this is mike welcome to episode 30 of retro buyer's guide and today we're going to take a look at how to fix broken lid sensors on the dreamcast here and the playstation 2 slim perhaps you tried to mod your slim uh and and broke the lid sensor like i did once or um sometimes with these old dreamcast um, with the lid going up and down several times uh there's a little piece of plastic that presses against the center there and that can break over time and what that does is it causes the system to think that the lid is always open and therefore your game will never spin up and so what you have to do is uh, take your system apart and i'm going to show you how to do that in each of these to fix that problem so that you won't have a broken lid sensor and more importantly you won't have a big paperweight uh, of a dreamcast or ps2 slim so uh, let's get started so what you want to do is you want to flip it upside down and I've already taken them out but there are little you see this this gray square here they cover up all of the areas that have uh, screw holes here and so what we're gonna do uh, I've already taken them out but we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a small screwdriver and we're just going to go ahead and uh, get out all these screws and uh, you want to make sure of course that there's no game inside when you're doing this uh, and very carefully, I like to put my screws in there, uh, make sure that you keep track of all your screws. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you get the screws off, um, what you can do is you can now take the case apart. You can pop it on the, the side here is what I like to do kind of flip it upside down and uh, it comes out just like that. Now, let me get in here and show you real good what I've done. Okay, so if you look here, this is where your lid sensor would be and it's a plastic piece that fits on the top. Now obviously, mine is not there and what you wanna do is you wanna cut a small square of you know just regular aluminum foil and you want to tape it you know I just use regular scotch tape you want to tape it onto this little section right here where that plastic piece was just for reference you know here's your CD spindle here this is the front of the console with your LED light and uh, back here next to this large screw is going to be the the part where you're going to glue the piece of aluminum foil on and that's it and once you do that uh, you should be good to go you can put it back together um, you know you'll definitely want to take this board out very very carefully and uh, you know make sure that uh, you can see the piece of tape still there um, that you get that taped onto there real nice and neat and then uh, once you get that done it's really easy to put back together you just set that sensor back in there like that and uh, pop this back onto the top like so pretty easy pretty straightforward push it in and then put your screws back in and that's it all right so let's take a look at the Dreamcast again same thing uh, over time this little plastic piece here it wears down and it will cause your Dreamcast to think the door is always open so we're gonna fix that so what you want to do is we're going to take all the screws off and uh, easier said than done um, the first thing you want to do is if you have this little uh, side piece here take that off and uh, you'll see a screw hidden underneath there so let's go ahead and get that screw since we know it's there all right so that is screw number one and again Keep all your screws together, try not to lose them. We got some in here, I don't know. So part of the problem is this little screwdriver here has a fat piece on it, it won't let me get in there. So I'm gonna pause and grab a different screwdriver, I'll be right back. All right, so we got a better screwdriver, let's go ahead and get in here. Okay, 
So now we got the lid of the Dreamcast off. And let me show you. Uh, so I showed you a picture of what the sensor looks like on a working one. Now here, you can see there is a piece of tin foil that I have, uh, I think I super glued this one actually instead of tape because I couldn't get in in there. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to make sure it covers this entire area so that it connects the two sensors um, that would normally be pushed down by the plastic piece. And uh, that will restore your Dreamcast to working order because it will think your lid is always closed and therefore you can go ahead and put a disc in it and it will spin up every time. And uh, that's it. Then you put it back together and test it out. Um, what you can do is if you're very careful, um, you can actually, oops, I want to mess with my uh, housing there for the uh, uh, laser. Um, you can very carefully plug it in and uh, just put a disc on top and then see if it spins up. And if it spins up, you know, uh, with the lid off, then you know it'll work with this put back on it. Um, so that's it. Um, I hope that helps some people. All right, guys, let me show you the Dreamcast, what it's going to look like once you put everything back together and you put in a disc. We're actually going to leave the door open and you'll get to see what happens. And because we have put that dream, uh, the, uh, the sensor down, uh, what the Dreamcast does is it thinks the door is always closed and therefore you can just put a game in and it'll work. And uh, everything seems to be good, although my battery's dead, so it's wanting me to... So real quick, I'm going to plug in controller. Okay, so it is. it has uh, read the disc, and I'm going to go ahead and pan up. That's the Wii U here. And there you go, Crazy Taxi. So uh, that is a working Dreamcast with the lid sensor uh, full into thinking the door is always closed. Let's take a look at the PS2 now. All right, guys, this is the PlayStation 2 that we took apart and put back together. And uh, same deal like the Dreamcast. We're going to go ahead and power this guy up. Now, this one won't run with the door open um, with the lid sensor closed, but it will uh, read the disc. So we're going to go ahead and close it, power it up. And you can hear it coming on. It should boot right into the disc here, which is the... Uh, Mega Man X collection. Yep, there we go. I'll go ahead and pan up and show you. There we go. Yeah, no memory card, I know. Uh, here, let me fix that. Uh, oh, let's see if I can hit the button. There we go. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Sure. Right. Yes. All right, here we go. So yep, reads the disc just fine. Uh, really all you need to do is just put a piece of aluminum foil on there and you're good to go. So I hope that uh, helped you guys out and hope it saved some uh, PS2s and Dreamcast from being thrown out. Hey guys, I hope that helped some of you out. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if this is your first time seeing this channel, please subscribe and uh, take care. I'll see you again with a new video soon.